For me, music has always been about texture. The reason I started making music wasn't even really because of very musical music. It was drum and bass and like kind of sampled music in the 90s, which I always thought of as like, these aren't really musicians, they're engineers, leveraging technology to an artistic end. That was what hooked me because I've always been into technology, but I've n I never even touched a musical instrument until I was like 20. You know, and then I heard Boards of Canada and that was like, Ulrich Schnauss and Boards of Canada was for me where it was like, okay, there's emotion plus the texture, plus the engineering and all those things coming together. And so that was where it all clicked for me. So the idea of the trilogy with Dive, Awake, and Epoch defined a chapter in my life. That was a period of a lot of growth and learning and, and kind of, you know, making this my career. So I definitely was looking for something different. And I think it really, this was about looking back at my roots and, and where I started and, and what got me into music in the first place to try to like reconnect with those original inspirations. And for me, Past the Prologue was conceived of as a vocal record. I recorded vocals that just didn't, I, I don't think I had the skills at the time to kind of make it into anything other than this instrumental journey with like little vocal snippets uh, sprinkled around, which is what you hear in Past the Prologue and Dive. So I, I thought, you know, this is the perfect time. Like I put everything I had into this period and, and I feel like those records in my mind were what I wanted them to be. And, and so it was time to just try something that was completely different. And that, that was the vocals. My whole goal with this record was to make a very traditional verse chorus vocal record because I was like, if I'm gonna make a vocal record, I don't wanna try to be like experimental. I wanna l literally make like the archetypal vocal record because to me, that was the ultimate challenge because it's so different. So I wanted the vocals to be front and center and it's like, these have to be the main event. So in that sense, it, it was the most like collaborative situation of my career. So I kind of searched around and worked with a few people and and then Hannah, uh, St. Center, she just, through a mutual friend, she uh, she was in San Francisco visiting some family and I sent her some demos. You know, she kind of gravitated towards the exact songs that I was I was really feeling. It just, uh, it all kind of came together in this really organic way. Oh, pink and blue. I was a big fan of Coastal Break, and I definitely knew Tycho, but it was just kind of a world over somewhere, you know? And so I had definitely been desiring and asking for like a mentor, someone who could kind of understand what I was dreaming of and desiring, what, understand what I was going through, and someone who could advise me through it. And I didn't really imagine that it would also be a collaborator of mine, so that ended up being like a real gift. I mean, that's what blew me away is there's a youthful exuberance and almost naivete that I possessed as a young artist that you lose over time because you start to calculate and you start to think too hard instead of just saying, this is what I want to do and just doing, just going in that direction. And seeing that in her was, was so refreshing. The beauty of that is that it really meshed well with what I was doing anyways, which was trying to reconnect with what got me into this and trying to reconnect with the new energy and make this fresh again and make this feel inspiring and you do the same thing over and over again and it's like you worry that maybe it's becoming stale or you're starting to retread things a little too much. Her being here just made me completely forget a lot of the past and, and just kind of like start fresh and that, that, was, that was really refreshing. This album kind of happened so fast before we even really like got to know each other, or hang out as friends, we were just like creating and it was just these two forces that were just like boom there. You know in the early phases I just I'm like, what word can you attach to this vague idea, this soundscape? And yeah, for that one was Japan. I had no, I literally had no idea that she would take that and run with it. I came in knowing exactly where I wanted everything. And I knew how I wanted to spread out the vocals. I knew where I wanted the harmonies in terms of the volume and then lay over another lead and then lay a second lead and throw it to the right side, throw a third lead, throw it to the left side and then we'll do harmonies and spread them out and verb out a little bit. Came home from Japan on your own when you landed. I don't know how it happened. 
The feeling in the throat of hitting the right chord is definitely something very special. But for writing weather, I was very aware that people will be singing the song with me. So I'm very careful about what I want people to say to themselves or even just say out loud. You're seeing one person like a main character and you're watching their journey. It's more like a film. In that sense, I thought it was cool too. She's interpreting what clearly was the inspiration for this and, and taking and interpreting it in her, in her own way, which became something that I never could have conceived of on my own. And I, I think, you know, there's something, there's something really cool about that as well. You know, music for me for so long was anxiety and imposter syndrome, and there's all these things wrapped into it, and I always felt like I was fighting so hard to make something that I felt comfortable with, and now it's less if I can do it, it's just like, if you put the time in and you put the work in, you're gonna be happy with the result, me, you know, me personally. And, and you know, at the end of the day, I guess that's the important thing is, is that you're doing something that you feel fulfilled in and, and you're proud of the product. So there was very little calculation or, or thought put into like what I wanted this to be at the end of it. I just kind of like followed the path more than I ever have in the past. And, you know, it ended up being the most relaxing and, and fulfilling experience I've had in a long time because the other ones were always compressed and it had to be this certain thing. I felt like all this weight of expectation. So I just feel extremely fortunate to be at the point I am in my career. And uh, yeah, I just hope I can keep doing it longer. <laughs>